Customize invoices and documents in Sage Accounting. In this video, we'll guide you through the process of customizing your templates and logos, document preferences, document emails, and statement settings. To get started, log in to your Sage Accounting. Navigate to Settings on the navigation bar and select Business Settings. Within the Document Settings area, you can tailor your invoices and documents to suit your business. First, we'll look at Templates and Logos. Access this section by clicking here. Choose a template that best suits your company's needs, considering product or service-based templates. Service-based templates enable longer descriptions for more detail, while product-based invoices show quantities and unit prices or rates. Alternatively, explore additional templates by clicking the arrow. Select the most appropriate template. Personalize your template further to reflect your brand by adding your company logo. The accepted formats and recommended sizes are outlined here. To upload your logo, click here. Locate the image and click Open. You can also include up to two additional logos, such as qualifications or partner logos following the same process. Next, choose an accent color for your document headings from predefined options or input a custom hex code in the provided box. To complete the customization, select a font and font size from the drop-down lists. Before saving your preferences, Preview the personalized document by clicking Preview. Use the buttons on the right-hand side to zoom in or out as needed. To exit the preview, click the cross icon from the top right-hand corner. To apply the changes, click Save. Next, let's look at Document Preferences. To access this section, click here. Here, you can modify the information displayed on invoices and sales documents. By default, document headings are labeled as shown, but you can adjust them if required by amending the text in each corresponding box. When you first start using Sage Accounting, document numbers begin from 1. However, if you previously used a different account system, you might want to change the numbering to continue from the last number you used. By default, the invoices and credit notes will use separate numbering. If you would like to change this, deselect this checkbox. We also add a prefix so you can distinguish each type of sales document. To change the prefix, enter the text you want to appear before the number on your documents. A prefix can be up to six characters long. If you do not want a prefix on your documents, clear the box and only the numbering will be used. Please note, that for invoices and credit notes, you cannot change or reuse a number once it is assigned. If voided, the number remains assigned and can't be reused. This is to ensure you have a full audit trail within Sage Accounting. Further down, select the contact details and addresses you want to show at the top of the documents. By default, line items are labeled as shown but you can customize them if required by amending the relevant one in each corresponding box. Use the footer details columns to add information you'd like printed on each document, such as the details of the company directors. You can add up to three columns and only columns with details will appear on your documents. Specify your sales terms and conditions such as payment bank details. If required, you can change the terms and conditions on individual documents when you create them. Don't forget to complete this for each document type you plan to use by clicking on the relevant tabs here. In Notes, provide your customers additional information about your business, such as opening hours, website address and bank details, with the ability to change notes for individual documents. Lastly, review the default descriptions for each EU tax rate and make adjustments if needed. These settings are only required for transactions preceding the 1st of January 2021. Before saving your preferences, preview the personalized document by clicking Preview. To exit the preview, click the cross icon from the top right-hand corner. To apply the changes, click Save. 
If you'd like to email documents directly from the software, you can effortlessly configure the email messages within Document Email Settings. To access this section, click here. When Sage Accounting sends emails on your behalf, any recipient replies are directed to this email address. By default, this is the email address used to create Sage Accounting. If necessary, you can modify this email address by clicking here. Enter the new email address in the provided box and click Continue. A verification code will be sent to the specified email address. Once the verification process is complete, the new reply email address will be updated. Please note, when emailing documents, they are sent from do not reply at sage1.com and this cannot be changed. If you'd like to send documents from your email account instead, download the PDF document, then attach the file to an email to send from your email account. If you want to receive a copy of each email that is sent directly from Sage Accounting, select this option. If not, select this option instead. If you prefer to automatically include a PDF of the relevant document as an email attachment, select this option. If not, select this option instead. Further down, you can set up the default email message for each document. Select the document type from the left-hand side and enter the relevant message in the provided box. If you'd like to amend this message further before sending it to your customers, you can do so on the fly. To save any changes, click Save. Finally, let's delve into the statement settings. To access this section, click here. Here, you can specify the type of statements you'd like to send and what to include. If you select All Activity, all transactions will appear on the customer or supplier statement you produce. By selecting Outstanding Items Only, the statement will only include the outstanding transactions, such as outstanding invoices. From the respective drop-down lists, choose the customer and supplier statement type. Then, decide how you want to send these statements, opting for email, which will be sent to the main contact's email address in their record, or by post, generating in PDF format for printing and mailing. To show days overdue and label overdue invoices in red, select this checkbox. To present a table of balances owed by age, select this checkbox. For more information on record and transaction settings, refer to this link. To highlight overdue accounts, select this checkbox. Here you can select to include or exclude future dated payments. Please note, if you select to exclude future dated payments, statements will show all outstanding items as of the statement date, even if some items have been paid since that date. Additionally, use the Customer Statement Notes section to add any information you want to communicate to your customers, such as payment information or bank details. To save any changes, Click Save. For further information, access our Help Center by clicking Help at the top of Sage Accounting. You've now learned how easy it is to customize invoices and documents for your business.